we had a great assistant who was fantastic, but I just, oh man, I was sure I was going to get fired. Well, I never got fired. And of the three pilots that we worked on simultaneously together, the one that I worked on was the one that went to, that got picked up the series. Wow. So uh, I felt really good about that. And, um, and you know, what's interesting is the, that pilot, it was a sitcom pilot. It starred Julie Haggerty and Julie, ha- I remember when we were casting Julie's husband by the time we had narrowed down all our choices and we're going to the network we had two actors that we were taking to the network and they were a wonderful character actor named cliff bemis uh, who i liked quite a lot and an, another actor who was you know kind of you know a good actor you know not that well known uh his name was brian cranston i don't know if you've ever heard of him or not <laughs> but uh we took both of them to the to the network they both read, you know, with Julie. They were both really great options. The network went with Cliff Bemis. So I was really good friends with um, Brian used to work for years, was represented by by a manager uh, named Leonard Grant. And I was friends with Leonard Grant. He was he was not a young man. He was a, he was one of the old school guys, but he was a really nice fellow. That was kind of a bummer to have to call, you know, Leonard Grant and say, hey, you know, Brian didn't, you know, didn't get this pilot. But you know what Brian did get? It, it's probably better that that he didn't get um, our show because we would have we might have ruined his career because he went on to to get a, a show called Malcolm in the Middle. I don't know if you've yeah. ever heard of it or not, but. <laughs> Um, and then his career took <laughs> off. So, so you know, sometimes we, you know, not only do we make careers by hiring actors, but we also make careers by not hiring actors because we could have really derailed the journey of somebody wonderful like Brian Cranston. So I, I worked with, you know, uh, some really great casting directors and learned quite a lot. And then Robin and I reunited maybe like th- three years later. She called me and she said, hey, I want to take a staff job uh, at this place that was doing, the internet was starting to sort of take off. And there was a place that was doing programming for young for young people, kind of like MTV, but for the internet. And she said, do you want to come be on staff with me? And I was like, yeah, okay. So we did that job um, and we so we reunited. And, um, and then that job led to a couple of other jobs, but then we, we, we got a pilot for Comedy Central, this was going to be pivotal. So we did this comedy pilot for Comedy Central that was written by and starred Julie Brown, comedian Julie Brown. We did a great job, Robin and I, and we had so much fun working with Julie. And then the pilot got picked up to series, and then we got to do the series, me and Robin. So I went from being, I had been Robin's assistant, and then I became her associate. And then when this pilot went to series by now I'm, I'm her associate, but when it went to series, uh, Robin made me her partner. And, um, so I had really moved all the way up, you know, from the bottom, um, up to being Robin's partner. And we had so much fun doing this series. And, um, when we first started, we were over at uh, CBS Radford and then, um, and then our offices moved over to, um, to that studio on Las Palmas, um, Hollywood Central Raleigh. Studios. Oh, uh, Hollywood, Hollywood right. Central. Yeah, and uh, and we had so much fun, Robin and I. I remember we would get the scripts, the weekly scripts, and we had desks opposite each other. They faced each other. That we pushed together, and I would sit and I would read the scripts because we had to. You know, we were no longer casting the, the 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 series regulars. Now we're casting the guest stars week to week. And I would we, I would read the scripts aloud, and Robin and I would just howl with laughter, and you know, and we're breaking down the you know the we're writing down all the new roles, and we had just so much fun working on that show. So okay, uh, uh, you so you had you worked with um, Robin, yeah. but you also worked with Shana, Shana Lansbury. Correct. Yeah. You you have had and and some other people. You have yes. had very successful partnerships. Yeah. With women. Yeah. In, in casting. Right. Mm-hmm. What do you think your success um, hinged on? Well, with Robin, you know, started ground up and she just she and I have to this day, we're very good friends and we just have um, chemistry with each other. And she was very patient with me the entire time that we 
that Robin and I were together, which was, I think, like eight years. Only one time did I ever get mad at Robin. I mean, it was a really light and breezy, you know, uh, association. She was very patient. Um, again, it comes down to the tone. Everyone's got their own style. Like Judith Weiner, she was really good at her job, but but in the room, she was kind of um, cool. You know, she was um, not warm and fuzzy. You know, I'm more of the warm and fuzzy type. She was a little more, a little more distant. You know, a little more analytical. Um, a Joel Therm, Joel Therm is just he's he's. He's very good. He's got a, he's a very bold and strong opinion and he will, he will say things sometimes that, uh, that maybe (laughs) he should edit. Um, But so everyone has their quirks and, you know, in their own style. So Shana and I lived very close geographically to each other. So that was sort of a nice plus. And, you know, at first, when we first started working together, she brought me on to help her cast some, we did a pilot and we did some TV movies. She was a little cool in the beginning. And then there was a period of separation. And then I had a movie to cast that I got on my own. Uh, and she wanted to do movies and she liked in, indies. This was a, a cool indie movie. And I called her and I said, hey, would you like to work on this with me? And she said, yes. And then that led to something else and then we just started sharing stuff and then we became you know i was no longer her associate i was now you know we became you know uh, partners and started sharing everything and and we warmed up to each other i've also been lately collaborating with jeff gerard jeff gerard is very warm if you if you have ever yes. had you know yes. the you know the lovely the, man yeah yes. he's a wonderful person very warm really supportive. He had been an actor himself before, but he's just, you know, he's, he's really warm and fuzzy. He's like a teddy bear. And, um, and uh, so, yeah. Uh, you know, I had a wonderful time, you know, uh, collaborating with, you know, with him as well. So I don't know. So let me just... ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, um, Cause the two women were casting directors. They, Correct. They weren't actors. Now you, now you right. collaborate with, a, a casting director who had been an actor like yeah. yourself. Correct. So how is, how is that different? Cause I, I'm assuming it's, it's very different when you have two former actors who are casting actors, their, um, their heart is different. It's real warm and it's real empathic. You know, it's real sympathetic to the actors it's just, it's like, you know, it's like chocolate chip cookies and milk, you know, it just <laughs> smells real good in here and real, it's real cozy, you know, and uh, it's just real comfy cozy. It's just, yeah. uh, that's what the difference is. Uh, not that the others aren't. Um, no, but it's a different thing. It's, you it's a different have, vibe. Right. You have, you also know the language of the actors. It's a different you know, vibe. Yeah. You, you know, you know, the heartache you've been there, yeah. you've experienced yeah. it. So it's, it's right. You, you know, you feel for them. So yeah, yeah Absolutely. No, I, I, I just want to say one quick thing that I know about you, which is you are an easygoing person. Yeah. That for someone to piss you off, for yeah. somebody to get on your bad side, it yeah. has to have been so bad <laughs> because pretty, pretty bad, you're yeah. very you're very chill. So yeah. um so going back to my original question of the secret or or what is the what is that thing that allows you to partner with people and have a long career with them? Because in, in this business going back to what we were talking about earlier, people are always looking to get to the next, Correct. Right. the next right. thing. I mean, it's not just right. actors, it's producers, it's everybody, mm-hmm. you know, right. it's a bad habit of yeah. people wanting to go over you to get to the other person. Correct. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I used you already. Now I'm going to yeah. go wherever I can, but you have really maintained relationships. Mm-hmm. What yeah. do you think that, where does that come from? I'll tell you. I you, you're looking for you're looking for a reveal. I want an answer. Yeah. You want you want to know what the secret is, and you know what? I'll tell you. It is respect. It comes down to a, a successful relationship 
has to have a foundation of respect, mutual respect. 